Thanks, Alex. My name is JJ, and I'm here to introduce some more technical details about the ITB2 at Cancer Care Manitoba. The ITB2 at Cancer Care Manitoba consists of three modules. Uh, we have EGL module, ontology module, and data extraction module. Let's start with the ETL module. The first task of the ETL module uh, will be import raw data from multiple sources. When the data is imported, the next task will be uh, data cleaning. Um, currently at Cancer Care Manitoba, uh, it is a lack of linkage between the cancer registry data and the EMR data. So we will build the linkage to connect those data. Next, um, as we know, ITB2 is a data warehouse platform and it uses the star schema architecture, which is a different shape from our source database systems. So we'll need to transpose the data to the ITB2 shape, uh, I mean, the star schema shape. Um, the last task of the ETL module will be implement those tasks above. We will um, create a store procedures using dynamic SQL and as well as the SSIS package to execute those uh, procedures. The, SS the SSIS package will be deployed to the database server. Um, next, uh, let's talk about the ontology module. We're collaborating with the ITP2 Ontology Working Group to create the Cancer Ontology or the Ontology for Oncology. And lastly, we have a data extraction module. We will create views um, for transpose the data extraction and also create a SAS program templates for extraction for our programmers and data users. And additionally, we will also create a user guide and user manual for them as well. Yeah, Mary, can you please move? To, yeah, okay, thanks. So um, at Cancer Care Manitoba, we're also implementing a RedCap as an online data capture application for data elements that are not readily available in electronic format in Cancer Care Manitoba databases. The RedCap will also port data to ITP2 through the ETL process for projects that have been vetted and quality checked. We will not include images of scan reports. We will only include the data in the discrete, discrete fields. Okay, yeah, thanks. Let's take a look at the diagram in terms of how the RedCap works with the ITP2. We have our uh, data entry person here. We'll be entering data uh, using the, their desktops through the RedCap web portal to the RedCap database. Then the data will be ported to the ITP2 database through the ETL process, uh, just like other source systems like EMR system, cancer registry and screening system. Yeah, Mary, could you read the next page? Oh, okay, thank you. And I would get to mention our project is generally funded by the Cancer Care Manitoba Foundation and the infrastructure is provided by the Share Health Manitoba. Also, I would like to thank uh, Logibeck and Athematics for consulting services. And in the end, special thanks to ITP2 Transmart Foundation for providing us this opportunity to present our project. Thank you. Yep. Next, sorry, there's one more, sorry. Yeah, yeah if I have any questions, just please, please feel free to reach out to one of the emails below. And uh, thank you so much for your time. There is a question in the chat box for how many ontology terms do you currently have in your cancer ontology? Uh, we don't have a total number of terms yet because we're still developing our ontology. Uh, but for the cancer registry, we've selected about 202 uh, terms. Um, so we don't have a, an answer for that right now. Sorry. Thank so you. May just want to mention that uh, uh, there's an Indian Cancer Genomic Atlas project in India, and they are developing an ontology for breast cancer, specifically for breast cancer right now. Um, maybe I'd, I'll, I'll connect you to that group. Uh, there might be something you could share. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, thank you so much. Yep, thank you. Great, thank you, Mary, JJ, and Alex. Um, just a follow-up on your ETL into the red cap. I'm not sure exactly how you're planning on implementing it, but I2P2 does have a red cap imp implementation inside of it that you basically, on the red cap side, you set up a trigger 
and then that will trigger into the CRC and it will basically load the whole ontology and any data associated whenever the uh, whenever anyone enters any record into it. Uh, if this is something you're interested in, I can probably do a demo on one of the ETL working groups or I can maybe re-demo it at one of the monthly uh, ITB2 sessions. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. That'll be great. Oh. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay, cool. But yeah, great presentation. Thank you guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yeah.